Hi, this is Majin Oni, and here's my reviews for Red Skull Incarnate and uh, X Men number 14. Um, I'll do X Men number 14 first. Uh, first of all, I like the cover. I thought the cover was really, um, it was a, it was pretty interesting, you know, especially with everything that's going on within it. I thought the facial expression, everything was great. Now, this is, I'm kind of torn with this story with the that evolutionary guy. Um, there's a part of me that's interested in what's going on uh, because this is, you know, this is going back into the past with something that's going on between Magneto and the X-Men. And yet another deep, dark secret that nobody seems to remember. Uh, and I have to admit, I mean, I am getting kind of tired of these types of stories where it's this dark secret that nobody remembers. You know, how about just tell a story, you know, and not have to do stuff like that. Um, overall, I mean, the art's the art's okay, uh, and I guess my biggest problem with this so far is that it's just moving really slow. Uh, it just seems like, like, well, a lot of things happen in this issue because you have um, uh, Cyclops finally coming back into the battle, Magneto, and everybody remembers what happens, um, and then you get a lot. You get to see more about what happened in the past where. Um, the X-Men were just about to save Emma Frost, but like Mastermind takes her, and it just, I don't know, it just seemed to me like it just moved really slow, and I, it, and it, I just wish it was, I wish it was over. Um, I'm hoping that maybe once, like, the whole thing is finished, if you read it from issue number one to the end, it might be a little bit smoother, but... You know, when you have these long breaks in between each issue, that's what's really slowing it down and, I think, really hurting it. Um, and here's a scene here where you have Magneto with Emma Frost, and he's trying to broadcast to all the mutants uh, what's going on. But yet, you know, why do you, you... You always have to go to the same people. You know, it's like, yeah, but there's Wolverine, Mr. Sinister, Mystique, you know, Namor. And then you have Storm, who looks like an adult. You know, but she's supposed to be a kid. I don't know. Uh, I'm just not, I don't know, I mean, I'll get the next issue, but I'm not, I'm not really totally hyped about this book. Um, I'm just hoping that, I just want schism, and I just want it to come, I want to see what that's about, and I really don't care about any of these stories right now, for any of these X titles. Anyways, uh, here's Red Skull Incarnate. Now, of course, when you have another superhero movie with another, you know, big villain, you have to flood the market with comics of that title. And this is basically the uh, Red Skull story, or, or Secret Origin. I love the cover. I thought the cover was great. Um, and what this basically does is just starts it off in Munich in 1930, or, sorry, 1923. And it's the Red Skull as a young kid. And... He, he was kind of like a real wussy type kid, and he eventually, um, I don't want to say becomes a man, but uh, he, he starts to develop a killer instinct. Uh, he basically lived in an orphanage. He killed his wife. As, I'm sorry, he killed his mother, as he put it, because uh, the mother died in childbirth. And basically, he was in, he's still going through an orphanage, and then eventually he's going to you know, go on the downward spiral from there, and uh, he he meets, there's like a, a turn of events here where you have the Nazi party walking through Germany, and there's a shootout, and in the confusion, he meets, there's like a policeman type guy that he met earlier in the story, so he goes to him for safety, and uh, he basically wants to learn how to kill, so the guy you know, basically says, okay, I'll teach you how to do it. And the look, what really got me when I, when I first saw this on the shelf, when I, um, I just, you know, skimmed through the book just to see what it was like, and it was the last page where he left just, you know, the, the pile of dogs on the, uh, bloodied, and that's what really caught my attention to see what's going on. Um, I really did enjoy this book, though, and I mean, it's going to be a five-issue miniseries, so... I think it's going to it's going to really be able to go into uh, I don't like a modernization of uh, the Red Skull's origin 
and I'm really I think I'm really gonna look forward to it. I like the artwork inside. You know, it's nothing flashy, but it's really it, 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 I think it fits the time period just perfectly. And um, like I said, I'm really this one I'm really actually looking forward to. I want to see what they're going to do to make the Red Skull the evil that he is. Um, if you have any comments or questions, let me know. Rate the videos up or down. Let me know what you think. And I'll put some more reviews up later. So until next time.